the Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Bowser Chapman here on this Thursday, the 7th of September. Now we're well into September, and so far September is looking a little bit ugly in the market. Um, the Dow is down 6 at uh, 34,437. It tried to rally earlier on. It was actually up with the 34,524 level. So let me just talk about this. There's a technique that I developed years ago. It's called the Chapman Wave Roman Candle. It can be red, it can be green. It could happen right at the top, which is very important. It happened the month of uh, October, I think it was, 2007, which gave a real good clue the following month what was happening uh, to the general market because this is the rule of thumb, that if it takes out right here, the long wick at the bottom, so the actual candle has to look like this. It has to have a long wick has to open um, and then make just a fraction. It doesn't have to, but usually you have the little tiny wick that you light the candle, and then there's a sharp plunge, but it closes halfway to three-quarters of a way from the bottom. In this particular case, this is the perfect red Roman candle. You can be green upside down. We had one just the other day. He has an upside-down one, um, a red reverse or inverted Chapman Wave Roman Candle, and exactly what we were talking about within two days if it closes sharply underneath the low. In this case, I said, if there is a trade for 60 minutes or more below the halfway marker, and that is this halfway marker of, of 34,380, and we're at 34,437 right now, um, there's a real good chance we're going to test the low of yesterday, maybe even take it out. But if there is a close above the high of yesterday, and I did see just, just a little a modicum of strength coming to the Dow. I wasn't sure about the other indices. Um, if there is a close above it, that's actually really positive because it stalls the downside move. Because in the Chapman Wave methodology of the dreaded H, oh, I said it now. i got to go there, see if I can find it. Okay, it might be, oh, no, no, no. What am I doing? No, no, no. What does that say? Just click out of it. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. I just don't want to play games yesterday. Um, out of the blue, everything stalled out. A restart. Oh, it's doing the same thing now. No, please don't. All right. So I can't do that at this particular point. I thought I'd be able to show you this particular chart. Oh, oh, oh. And then I clicked again. Larry and I. We got this technical problem every once in a while. It just it says, you, okay, close the program. Darn. At least in this particular one, it saves everything. This is Snagit. Uh, fabulous. It just saves everything. You, uh, I, I never have a oh, – I shouldn't talk about that. Let's just see what happens. Close program. Close program. Try to get it back. Let's see if this works. Hold tight, folks. This is where we're coming to. This is where, oh, oh, wrong, wrong chart. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Come on. Oh, now I've got to do something. Uh, Outlook Express, add an, an account. I don't want to add anything. Just get me out of this. Good. Okay, try it again. Here we go. One, two, three. Click. Let us pray. Okay, we're coming up to whatever. Okay, in the meantime, let me just say that the S&P is down 29. Uh, yep, S&P is much weaker. There it is. Okay. So this is what I want you to show you. As I say, snag is fabulous. In trade station, when I have to shut down suddenly, I lose data if I haven't been saving. So the why am I, why am I, oh, in this dreaded H pattern, the lowercase h, what happens is, Look, this is a peak A and then it fails. This is a peak A and it fails. This is the H pattern. This is this sharp move down and then an arch formation. Failing at a peak A or a B, if it rolls over very quickly, takes out that left side low, that is where you're looking at some serious damage as possible. But when it becomes a larger one, it says that maybe it takes a little more time now and other things are going on because there was enough strength to make a large arch formation. But normally, this, the, the third bar 
of the H pattern is the one that really extend, extends down. So that was one, two, that was yesterday. Very often when that comes down very sharply, the fourth candle just plunges to the left side low. That's why I'm saying this is really important. Look, we, we saved the day so far, uh, not even an hour into the trading day, by rallying above the halfway marker of the long wick at the bottom. So that's a good sign. Now the Dow's up seven, just trying to have a bit of a bounce. All right, so I got that out the way. Now let me go back to the the whole story here. Um, within the context of the Dow itself, I, I'm still saying, I, even though it was much weaker in the last rally where the NDX rally rallied much stronger, the S&P was much stronger, I think the mix of the Dow at this particular point, until we get uh, the JP Morgan's, the, the, the financial sector of the, of the Dow, Look at this, holding very tight and very key support here on the left side. Um, you've got the Doji candle, it's at 144.55, down 40 cents. That's JP Morgan. Look at the XLF. And the reason why I mention this is because within the Dow, the financials. <coughs> God, why is it that every day during the show? I have a like Dave White used to do that as well. I don't know what it is. Anyway, so what we're looking at here, you've gone in the XLF to the arch formation and a sort of stalling. And this is the day that should be a big down day. And so far, it's holding quite nicely, just down 14 cents at 34.19. So as I'm looking at the Dow, kind of saved the day. But what I am saying is that uh, when we finally get the financials really on track and moving to higher highs and higher lows, on a weekly basis, that's where I think we really start to see the Dow lead and start to move very sharply higher. At this particular point, I, I'm watching it and I'm saying the mix of the Dow so far has some qualities that I really like, but there are enough stocks that say choppy, choppy, choppy at this particular point. And that's what we've got, choppy, choppy, choppy. So here we go. Um, s and P. I did that. I did the Q. Let me show you something in the gold. The gold now is down one. But the nine period moving average has crossed negative. Now, that should be all day. So if, if by the end of the day it flips back to unchanged, in other words, that S disappears, then what we're looking at is a situation where um, there's still internal strength. At this point, if it turns S, if that, the nine period moving average goes to a cell, just the nine period moving average, that MACD holding up is going to probably get very close to turning negative. The stochastic's already at 60%, very weak. It goes weaker, so is the on balance volume. So I'm watching this very closely for gold because it's holding very nicely. When you think about what the dollar's done and what the gold is doing, you have to admire it. You have to say, hey, gold, bravo, bravo, bravo. You've held very nicely so far, but can you keep doing that? Because... Go, the dollar will get a little tired at, at a certain point. It's getting close to an extended uh, level. Let me just do that. DXY. Let me show you what I mean. Look, there's no volume here because this is an index. But the UUP, which has finally got out of the 28s and gone to the 29, look, that nine, that on balance, the blue on balance volume is holding very nicely there, but it's just starting to get to an overbought level, which says we could be pulling back. Remember, uh, well, we are long. The other dollar. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down 24, SP's down 27. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30 day money back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, fighting the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Folks, uh, I'm back and I'm just... Now, this is what I showed uh, earlier on. Uh, this is the E-mini, the one-minute E-mini. It had a good rally to peak C1, C2. In other words, it just missed making that D. And then it made the arch formation. This is the pattern that we were looking at. When, we, when I did my uh, webinar a few weeks ago, I said in the next month or so, we've got to be very... Uh, observant of this arch formation because the dreaded H is a pattern when you're going down, which I expect it to be very choppy during uh, uh, September. Uh, that's what you got to, even here on the one minute chart. Look how it went down in arch formation. I drawn in a little X there to say that that would be the target. It missed it by one uh, one bar, one minute, one one minute bar, um, and by about a point. So now we're making the second arch. The lowercase h can become a lowercase m formation. And we've just got to see that 4434 holes on any pullback from here. We're at 4439. So a couple of things I wanted to just go through. Um, a number of people have said to me the dollar is absolutely imperative. And that's one of the reasons why we're in this kind of what I call uh, a sell mode in the daily i haven't yet uh, had any indication that the weekly has changed even a sell signal yet in, uh, the, in any of the indices but most importantly uh what i am looking at here is that the uup that night let me just show you this because some of you might not have seen it before i use something called the 914 crossover and look at the dollar. It sh pulled back sharply. And what I've been talking about for quite some time is that as long as that 9 is strongly above the 14, that whatever instrument you're following, it has to be really bad news to tank it and get that green to turn pink by going under the 14-period moving average. And so far, we've broken to new recovery highs. And that's important. Uh, if you're looking at a uh, gold, look what's just happened to gold. Gold went pink, that's negative. Then it went green for just a very brief moment. And then it went back. To, today it's back to pink, but the day is young. Look at silver. It today has gone pink. It had a fantastic move from here to here. I mean, almost uh, two points, uh, maybe even over two points. And now it's pulling back. 
That gray line is the price itself. They'll be falling. Look at the TL. Look at the TLT. The TLT three days ago flipped to negative. Um, it went for one day green. Here it went for a few days green, and then it flipped. It. The majority of selling pressure in the bonds has been constantly to the downside with just very brief moments to the upside. And I think if you put the, the whole thing together, let's go to the XGH, uh, HGX, sorry. Now this is the um, Philadelphia Housing Index. Look at this, pink, big rally. I don't know where that rally came from. Today's down only 27 cents at 544. What is it saying? That there's some kind of a rotation going on? I, I mentioned this yesterday. This is one of the most unusual market scenarios that we've seen in, I mean, just in ages and ages. Let me explain why. Look, you've got the dollar screaming to the upside, and yet gold is holding well. And normally when the bonds are rallying and yields are coming down, Historically, you've seen a pretty good rally with the market saying, whew, bond, yields are down, let's, let's rally. So you've got the yields, let's go to the TNX, this is the 10-year, screaming up to the, the, the 43s, it's at 42.88 right now. 43s is where this double top resistance has been for a long time. Um, and yet, you've got, the look at this, Toll Brothers, down today by 15 cents, still within points of its all-time high. So this is what I'm saying. The normality, and I'd say this maybe about six or eight months ago. I, do I see it? Is it in front of me? There it is. Okay. Um, Bondi, Crudy, Dolly, Goldie, Vixie. So if you want to go through these, these five icons right here, Bonds... The, the relationship of bonds to other things hasn't quite worked at this particular point. There's, the, the relationship is not there. I think it's going to be there. I think I think the home builders are going to be coming down. I think that the uh, the area of construction, etc., should be pulling back. Haven't got it yet. Uh, so that's bondy. That's bonds. Crudy, crude oil. So look at this. Yes, crude oil. Beautiful cup formation. It's got until, is that a September or October? It's got until the week of October the, the 6th to try to get to the left side high. This is a continuous contract. I don't like to pr print the price because the prices always change because it gets smoothed out. But on the week of the 11th of November, it hit 91.56. And here we are, 87.37. It might sound like, oh, it's only four points away. Th those, it's a, th th those are big points right now. I it's going to be a little tough to get there right now unless something dramatic happens, right? But crude oil rallying like this should have sent what it has sent the IYT, that is the transport index, down very sharply. But you've got a Federal Express. Surely it should have just knocked Federal Express for a loop. No, Federal Express at 255 is within uh, 20 points, maybe less than 20 points of its most recent high. So that relationship should be there, but it's not UPS, United Parcel Service. Um, huge move. Now, this is the relationship you can see, United Parcel Service Inc. Shipping, wow, look at that dreaded H potential in the monthly chart. It's already failed in the weekly chart. It's got a much bigger arch formation uh, from a peak E right there and a peak G in the daily. So this is telling you that there is a relationship. But uh, I'm saying that it's unconventional. So we had the dollar. And look at this. Here's the dollar, DXY. Look at that. Just a sideways move, actually. Look, this is a sideways in a rectangle formation going to the top of the range. Uh, but wait a minute, EUR, USD, look what happened to this. Kaplop, right underneath the Chapman Wave inside track propellant zone, it's becoming a repellent zone. And look what happened here. Look at this beautiful left side, right side price time match of that PD, three doji top, right there on the 18th of July at 1.1. 
1.1717. So this is going to be very important because look at the USD JPY. Keep getting a notification here. I don't know if that's a notification for me. Uh, oh, no. All right. And look at this. It's right there in a G slash C in the upper nine period moving average. Fabulous on the daily. Weekly, it did this beautiful left side, right side price time match. The next one is going to the high of uh, 131.945. Made the week of the 21st of October. Remember the October lows of last year in the market. So it's this, this is the chapter where we make large arch formation in the monthly chart, which says if you make higher highs and higher lows from that flagpole high, you can go all the way to just under, right on or just above the previous high. I'll be back. Dow's down 55. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. So um, I just wanted to show you something that I, I think is kind of interesting. Um, you see this chart of Apple right here. So Apple was holding really well, but there was, I've, I've made this a dashed line because I have other even more important uh, trend lines that I follow, but I'll make this, I'll put this back into the red right here uh, so that you can see this weekly chart, make it red right there or pink, make it full, not dashed. Then, and now you can see 
that within the context of channels, look at this beautiful channel that Apple had from the 124.17 low of the six of week of the 6th of Feb, comes all the way up and then it stops at a doji candle right there. And that was at 200, no, 198.29. Um, and that was in July. The, that was the week of the 21st. And then there was an ugly candle. Now, what normally happens with an ugly candle is that the test of the acceleration to the downside is if there is no inside bar. In other words, a higher low, but a lower high. And kind of trading in the lower half. Instead, it just plunged to the downside for two bars, two weeks. Had a very strong two-week rally. And now it's almost given that back. So Apple is the one I was looking at. And I said, from all the technical indicators that I'm looking at, this might be one of the, 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 the seven darlings. Might be one of the first to show tremendous strength quickly changing to weakness. It hasn't happened yet because the green, the nine period moving average, let me just go over here and I'll show you. You'll be able to see a little bit better. Let's go here. Apple, AAPL, you'll see the daily chart. Uh, it went green and then it uh, went green, then it finally turned around and was green. Look at this. This is a daily chart. Apple from the 6th of March at 153 didn't turn pink until right here. So you can go to the actual bar, which is at 160, uh, 181. 181, but it actually hit the 198 level. So, and then now it's, it's turned pink, stayed pink. All of a sudden, for a couple of days, it goes green on the 10th of, sorry, the 30th of August, and now it's still green. So let's go to the weekly chart and see what's happening. Nothing. Still green. But you've got your M-shaped pattern here. You've got a little mini m shape there. And now both the 14-period moving average has turned down together with the green 9-period moving average, which says on a weekly basis, there's a really good chance that Apple is going to turn pink. And that says one of your bellwethers, one of your key major stocks in the market um, is starting to fail. But let's just do this. Let's go to let's just go back to the daily. Let's go to a Microsoft, another one of those bellwether stocks, major, making lower highs and lower look much lower than the previous high back in uh, July, up near the three sixty level, and now we're at three thirty down two point fifteen. The green is still green. The the price of Microsoft. This is the intraday chart. Um, is is turning down, but look what happened. So that was the seventh. That was the sixth. So this is these are the um, daily bars, right? So this daily bar hasn't crossed negative yet. Look at Goog. Hasn't turned negative yet. Look at uh, Meta. Turn actually turned up. Two days ago, and today it's up three six three dollars and sixty eight cents at three three oh three. So that's what I'm saying. That this is a a market that if you are in particular stocks, you could be saying to yourself, "Well, I don't know what everybody's making a fuss about, but I can just tell you this: that we're getting this rollover, and this rollover is saying. Let me just show you something else. Even you can go from monthly charts to one minute charts like this." And look how these dreaded H, I just said to you, the lowercase H is going to a lowercase M. I didn't have time to do it. But look at the symmetry between this pullback, the last pullback, this one here. And we've actually made new lows on the day to right there. That's the low, right? Right there. Oops, that's not the low. This is the low. Right here. And let's see what happens. Click. So these are techniques in my in my webinars. This is what I discuss a lot. Just these very, I mean, it looks so complicated, but it's really very simple. But easy doesn't mean it's an easy trade. Easy just says the technique might be easy. Following it sometimes takes a lot of tenacity. So here we are green. 
Yeah, we all. I would have put an X in. I didn't have time. An X would have been there. It missed the X by two bars, two two one minute bars, and now it's having a nice pop to the upside. Uh, it went to a new low right there, right. So um, in that, oh wait, wait I, I didn't do this correctly. I didn't want to overlap. This should have been there to that low right there, right there. That should have been to that. Oh, then the X would have been there. So it actually came in two bars early, right? So now it's having a little bit of a bounce. And I have to tell you, from what I'm looking at here, I see just rotational residual strength going in and out of some stocks, stocks that might or might not be important to the general market, but are important to the indices that you might be following. So with that said, let me just go on to something else in the den. Uh, Dizzle says NG. Let me just look at NG. This is NG is the... Um, yeah, this is the NG, is the natural gas continuous contract. So you see this low right here, today's low of 2.500. 2 but if you look at this rectangle formation, look how long we've been in this rectangle. And my, my contention is that natural gas is going to be building some upside spike potential. And I don't... <laughs> Yeah, uh, Louis, Louise Anamata, I, oh, I can't remember her name right now. Um, really good technical analyst from some time ago. She's still around. I, still, I think she's around. Uh, Yamamata. So what, what we're looking at, she used to say, the longer the base, the higher the space, or something like that. But in other words, the longer you take time, to be, as Tom would say, building cores, the longer you're taking the sideways action. But look at the MACD, how strong it's been. And the price has been absolute. It ignored it. It's just pathetic. Look at the stochastic. Holding okay, the price is pathetic. This is a weekly chart. Um, at some point, you will get a sudden pullback, maybe even a lower low, just a one sharp lower low, just to sell, tell everybody, okay, you thought you could time this? Watch me. And it takes out Every single long position that who's been patient all the way for months, and then it starts its move up. So I see natural gas looking out six weeks, maybe eight weeks, as once on a weekly basis, it takes out, it closes above the high of, this is a continuous contract, so the price may change. The high of the week of the 11th of August, my price is 3.113 right now. The moment the start is going to go, I think it start a rally that has some left to the upside that is. I'll be back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi folks, back. Very nice. From that little X that I drew that 44434 because I was doing the show so I didn't grab anything. Look at the single leg to the upside. Where did it go? It stopped right at this peak C1, C2 right here on the one minute chart at 4451.00. So far we've hit 41 point. Uh, 40, did I say 40, 44.75? Whoops, just went to the one. Okay, so that's that's a single leg A up. But at this particular point, the stochastic's at 95%. The MACD is good. So the one-minute chart is really improving technically. The 10-minute uh, chart, so the single leg A up. Remember, I couldn't call this A right here because the bar that makes the low cannot be the high. You have to move to the right to make a trough. Now you can call this an A. So this is, to me that whatever the selling, and you remember, I've been talking about this saying, there's, there's selling pressure, but I see enough, enough, uh, just enough stocks to make a difference if they suddenly start to run in. I think that's exactly what we've got. This is still a leg A. This is what you get sometimes, we haven't seen it in ages, at about three, uh, at about 3.20 in the afternoon, when it's been a kind of an up day, an up day, and then all of a sudden it, it looks like it's going to fail. And then out of the blue, you get that last 40 minutes with just a straight-up rally. So far, this is very good saying I'm stalling, but the S&P, the, the futures are still down 20. So someone texted me to say um, it, is, it is still the dollar. And I'm saying don't – yes, 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 but no, no, no. It is many things. It isn't a single – Instrument. That's what I was saying about, oh, I didn't even get there. So gold, usually when the dollar rallies, gold goes the other way, even if it's just a, a short-term trend. But in this particular instance, look at the big move in the dollar, and look, the gold is really not broken down. So that, in a sense, is a positive, but I still think gold is weak. So within that context, I'm just saying to you, and the VIX index down in these lows, and yet the market's pulling back, well, it had a big move up. Now it's pulled back a little bit. It's at 15, now up 64, 15.09. But what I am looking at is that you can't just lock in on one thing. It is a number of things. And I just need to show you this chart right here just to review because some of you uh, take this chart like I do very seriously. Uh, here we go. This is the Chapman Wave Dark News Cloud Cover. I spoke about it yesterday, I think, or the day before, using the Dow Daily Chart. And what I'd said was, for a long period, instead of drawing in little rectangles saying, that here's the top, here's the top, it started back in November of 2022. I said, Dark News Cloud, cloud Cover. And then over the months, I said, you know what? This uh, Dow 35, oh, it was a 35782, what was it, 30? Uh, sorry, 34712, that high of the 13th of um, of December, that is, that's the dark news cover. It just sits there and sits there and it's p penetrating the market. But the moment we break out of it, it says just for a moment we can have some relief. Well, we got relief, but on the 26th of July, 
Uh, and it's one of the reasons why we went short the very day of the high of the Dow high at August the 1st is because I said, we are starting to get this dark news cloud cover again, that if we go back into the range, it says it hasn't dissipated. That cloud cover is going to be sitting there for a little while. So I'm just saying to you that in this particular instance with the arch formation um, in the daily chart, this is a little savior uh, because it could have looked really, really ugly. For 60 minutes, we started to trade in the 34,000, I think, 380 level. Here we are at 34,493, up 50. Let me just check to see. I have a little ping, ping. Oh, we've got Garrow in Newport Beach. Garrow, how are you? I'm very good, sir. How about you? I'm very good. So you'd like to look at, oops, I typed in the wrong place. Square. You'd like, yeah, okay, SQ is the symbol, block is the name, and uh, what did you do? Because it actually held very nicely using your uh, S, uh, your parabolic SAR, and now it's given a chunk back today. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Um, you, you told me that day a few days ago when I called you, uh, you just uh, draw a rectangular there, and you told me that this is struggling, it cannot go any higher than that, and uh, how right you were. Uh, I, was I was long for a while, a few days, and then uh, this morning I shorted it at 5 o'clock California time. Your time was 8 o'clock in the morning. I showed it at 57, 14. Uh, 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 my question is that, sir, now the uh, position of the dots are uh, reversed. Now yes. we have one dot at the top. How, how far do you think that, that will go lower? Just so, approximately. All right. Now, as I see it right now, the support that was, and this is what we discussed, the support on the 18th of August was at 54.73. Yes. Uh, the way I'm looking at it right now, the weekly, the daily, the weekly, and even the monthly are suggesting very strongly that there's a chance that if it closes under 54, it could quickly hit 52. I actually look um. at it more negatively than positively. So that's kind of how I'm looking at it right now. And what's fascinating, I just want to explain to the listeners, Garrow looks at this particular um, stock using a technique that he's used for years and years and years. And it's really the para <laughs> parabolic SAR is, is the name of it. And you can see the little dots. I've actually kept this on my chart, my daily chart, for years because you've mentioned it and I've, I used to use it, then I didn't use it, then I do. So I've kept it there. And I have to tell you, when it works, it is fantastic. It can not work, of course. Not everything's perfect. But when it does work, and not only that, the technique that it uses to get, look, one one down day and it's already got the dot. It didn't have the dot when you started because you had to wait for the market to open. But then the dot showed up and you said, woohoo, right? Yes, yes, that is true. I, I learned that SAR parabolic years ago, I would say, from you. Uh, that was about almost uh, 15 or 20 years ago, long time ago. A long ago. time long ago, long yes. Time. Yeah, yes. And it, yes, it yes, really yes, is... Yes. It is a really wonderful tool, but I like the way that you use it. It's not just having a tool. You're using it very methodically. Use it. You know your parameters. Now, I must say, there's a little bit of strength still on the MACD, not the stochastic, but the MACD. But that nine period, yeah. remember I said to you, the nine period moving average hasn't even been able to get close to the 14 period moving average. To me, that's a big negative. So I'm just going to say to you, be careful because um, there could be bounces. But why don't you take a little time to say, where is your stop? And then use your technique, because my suggestion to you is that there's a good chance that I might be wrong, but tomorrow the dot appears again, saying it's continuing in this cell signal based on the SAR. So mine's in a cell mode, yeah. and I, I'm, I'm very worried this, this particular pattern has the habit of taking out the left side low um, and then doubling the distance between the horizontal base and the high that it went to, to the downside. That says that 52 level is going to be, got to watch that closely. But I, you're in the right position right now. Yes, sir. Yeah, absolutely right. MACD is a little bit of a problem. MACD is still has work to do, but the stochastics already rolled down. Absolutely. I do my daily trade, daily uh, the trades, uh, uh, Mr. Basil. Um, I showed it at 57.15. 
And, and I got asked at 55, 50. And Whoa. I showed the 500 shares very early in the morning. That and I'm already fabulous. out. I'm already out. I'm waiting for the next. Uh, I usually buy, buy and sell on my 30, uh, 30 minutes. Uh, so uh, uh, that's what that I do, that uh, uh, pre, pre-market uh, start, the charging system on, on 30 minutes. And that's where I buy and sell, usually around 5 in the morning, which is your 8, 8.30 in the morning that time. Right. But I very appreciate good. that very much. Thank you, sir. And uh, I hope I'll talk to you again. I appreciate it. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi folks, I'm just trying to find something here before we wrap up. Uh, yeah, so there are a couple of things. So... In my webinar that I did uh, a couple of weeks ago, I talked about the tides, the chart patterns that tr and trends. So to, the tide at this point is going out. So even that very strong single leg to the upside A uh, move that we just saw in the one minute chart, that could be a riptide. You've got to be careful because the major trend, I hope I can find the chart, but look, one, steady tidal rhythms. These are waves. Two, larger but uneven waves. Three, Riptides. Four, 100 footers. Think Nazare. Oh, I love those waves. Five, overlapping waves to look at. Six, flat, just a flat market. All right, rough waters, number seven. Now, let me just see if I can even find this chart here. Um, did I put it in? I thought I did. Did I, did I, did I, did I not? Yeah, look at this. Identify the trend and then trade with the trend. We have a we have a position now that's on the long side, brand new. It's, uh, uh, did it today. We've been waiting, waiting, waiting. I did it because I think it's under the radar, maybe. But mostly, look when the when the price is going up, this is wrong. It's shorting all the way up. Yes, if you're very quick and nimble, absolutely you can do it. 
sh buying on the way down. That's wrong. This doesn't this even look right? The tide is going up, so you're trading up. The tide is going down, you trade down. So that's what I wanted to show. Yeah, I've got the MACD, stochastic, and all this stuff. But really, look at the price: higher highs, higher lows, higher higher, lower highs, lower lows. That's the trend. That's what you got to stick with. So with that said, as I'm about to wrap up, I'm not able to do the next hour. Um, I want you to just mention that uh, on the on the day. The Dow's showing some leadership role. Now look at the single leg A. It's starting to fail. Got to be careful. Got to be simple. Like the gates, the trend, the big trend, so close down. I was on the first of the day, as I say, with some information. It's the Dow, perhaps, that is still the perfect.